everybody, it's here today. That's fucking loud! Hey YouTube, welcome to the Vincent Trick Lining Laboratory. Today it's time for system test number two. As you can see behind me, I have a pull station now, and I have a couple more things installed. Uh, I'd like to say the system is only 60 to 70 percent complete, so um, I won't do too many system tests until it is complete. Um, let's take a tour. Let's see what we have installed currently, uh, what I plan to install in the future. And afterwards, it's gonna be the test. First of all, the C2WBA is installed as usual. Uh, same place, it is actually nothing changed here. This is one of the new uh, devices, a S2475 can, uh, S2475 uh, Spectral Classic Stroke from System Sensor. If you want these, uh, this, in the information about this, this, uh, this strobe, uh, just go on their site and download the PDF. I won't put any information crap thing on the video. We also have a Edwards EC2U smoke detector. Uh, I got this from my fire alarm class, it had no base, so I ordered one I ordered one on eBay. Um, it seems to work, but I had I tried to test it the, a while back but it did not activate so I guess it is not very really sensitive. Then we have the Simplex T bar. It is a 2099-9795, if I remember. Um, got it from eBay, and it has the newer Simplex logo. S many of the Simplex T bars have the older square letter logo, but I prefer this one. It looks better, in my opinion. Then we have a 281B thermal detector from Edwards. It is a 135 Fahrenheit 57 Celsius fixed and 15 degrees Fahrenheit, 9 degrees Celsius per minute rate of rise rate. This is a Edwards 246A thermal detector. It is a, a bimetallic type, it is rated, um, let me check, I think if I can read well, it is 197 Fahrenheit, 88 Celsius, if I read correct. The last device is this homemade Edwards bell. Um, the base itself uh, it's probably from Edwards, I don't know exactly, but it's a base that was defective, but I repaired it. And the gong on it is a 1990s gong, I guess. But um, I installed it because it, has, it had an interesting black label, black label. That's actually the first time I saw this black label on Edwards bells. Most of them have either a gold label or the newer silver white lab label. Okay guys, time for the test. I'm just going to plug the camera to get the control panel view, which is right here. It's a PDRP-1001 from System Sensor. So, let's just turn on the camera and set everything. So, um, this looks pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to solve a problem here because I think the uh, cable pulls on the Okay, this should solve the problem. Ah, damn, man. Uh, I wanted to zoom. Zoom in. Alright. Okay, it looks good. Let's just start filming. So, it's time for the test. I'm going to activate this pull station. So, one, two, three. Nice! So, one, two, three... Nice! As you can see, zone two. Jeez, that's pretty loud. I think that new gong is even louder than the older one. Oh, oof! <laughs> I just forgot one thing before resetting the system. Let's reset the pulse station, otherwise it's gonna be setting it up again. Okay, now we can do it. Oh, 
Oh, this. Okay. How about another time? So, we're gonna do a better view. So, it works really good. Hmm. I think we're just going to reactivate the alarm and see the the bell up close. Let's close back the panel, even if we're going to open it back in a few seconds. Okay, here we go. Jesus Christ, that one is loud. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, that one is loud. Oh, we're going to zoom back. Okay, good. So, that is pretty much complete for this first system test. Uh, the second system test, I mean. As you can see, everything works pretty good. And now, very quickly, about the new the devices I plan to install. The first I plan to install is located right here. You can see the box. Um, this is going to be a remote strobe. It could be either a Edwards Genesis. It could be a special classic or even a special advance, I don't know. This was right there, we can see already a cable going into the box. Um, it is, it is, this box belongs to the NEC circuit and it's gonna be a, a ceiling mounted remote show. It could be a special classic, in that case it would either be a 75 candela or a 115 candela. Or even a higher rate blue one, like a 177 candela. Um, but it's going to be a ceiling mounted show in there. Indeed, a, cl a classic one or a special advanced SCR. And you can see right there here, there's a box, there's a cable going to the box, and there's a sort of terminal thingy connected to the circuit. This is good. I had to blend to have this to make the NEC circuit functional. Um, so uh, don't worry, this is very temporary, there's going to be a 15 candela spectral classic like this one, a 15 candela rated one here. And this 75 candela strobe is probably going to go and there's going to be another spectral classic 15 candela model. So it's going to be a pair of 15 candela spectral classics uh, on that wall. And maybe that 75 candela strobe is going to be back there in the box I told you before. And the last addition is on the initiating device circuit. From that box, I'm gonna add a new cable that will run all the way here until this area, and I'm probably gonna add another heat detector. Um, of course, the handle hand resistor is inside that box. I'm gonna move the handle hand resistor in the new box that is gonna be located about either right there or maybe on the other truss right there. Whew. So, so um, that's about it for the second system test. For the third system test, I'm gonna have to turn off the camera first. There we go. Afterwards, um, in the third system test, better light here. In the third system test, I'm probably gonna have new devices. Um, I am probably about to buy a special advance remote strobe, the SR model, and if I ever buy this uh, remote strobe, it's gonna be in that box back there, the uh, box near the staircase. Um, 
this is gonna be where the special advance is gonna go. Why well, I could install, I could, re I could set it to the 15 candela rating and install it uh, back there where the new box is. So um, that could be a possibility. I will have, to, I will figure that out um, uh, when I have the uh, the said remote show. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't know when I'm gonna have the new detector on that area. Uh, wait, where is the other thing? So uh, in that area right there, I'm don't know when I'm gonna, I don't know when I'm gonna have the new detector. And pro it's probably not gonna be soon because I have to buy a new 281B thermal detector. Um, so yeah, but uh, that's pretty much it. So you saw a lot of things in the new system test. Um, some unexpected things like the. Uh, Edward's bell in action was pretty cool, but it was pretty loud too. So yeah, um, to finish this system test, let's see a view of the panel working in action. See you later guys in, a new, in another video from the Trick Lining Laboratory.